All right, so today we're gonna talk about some really exciting news. Um, we've been holding on to this one piece of um, newly discovered information for the next teaser because we wanted to align it and it finally happened last night. So um, we'll get to that a little bit um, further into this clip. I'm gonna give you a refresh of the few things we discovered a bit back just to refresh your memory for those that maybe weren't here a month ago when we started talking about this and just to um, refresh your memory um, to help with this video and to digest the information that we received yesterday. Um, all right, so we have Val Raven's bottom of the first drop track here. It is 10 bolts by eight bolts. Um, that plays an interesting um, twist into our coaster because we recently just um, discovered because some tarp flipped up earlier this month and we discovered that our track is actually 10 by nine bolts. Now, what that tells you is this might be a higher stress point in the coaster than that to Val Raven, or the trains might have a different design. It could be a couple of different things, but this could suggest that our coaster is going to be larger than Val Raven. Um, I, I think this has to do with height and stress more so than trains because I don't see 10 across trains fitting in this tunnel. For those that have seen it in person can vouch for that as well. So then we went and measured the distance of the pullout on Val Raven, and it measures 51 meters long. Now, this is also interesting because our pullout on our coaster so far is about 60 meters long. That is about 10 meters longer than Val Raven, and it potentially could be a slightly longer because the pullout isn't done being built on our coaster yet either. So it could end up being around 65 meters long. Now this is interesting because pullouts are um, typically designed to lessen the force on the coaster after it's dropped. When you look at a coaster like Leviathan, this could put this picture into a better perspective. So Leviathan has a pullout of around 55 meters, I believe. I could prove myself wrong in this next clip. Um, so I was right, 55 meters. So Leviathan has a pullout about 55 meters. Um, a dive coaster should have a bit larger of a pullout than that to a giga coaster because there is slightly more stress on these heavier trains. So for example, if this coaster does end up being a giga coaster, we should see a longer pullout, which we do. Now this doesn't mean necessarily just because we have a longer pullout that it's going to be a giga coaster. It just helps kind of prove this new conversation that's arisen uh, about, you know, if this is a dive coaster, is it going to be a giga coaster? And I do strongly believe we are going to be seeing a dive coaster at Canada's Wonderland between the height of 255 feet and 300 feet. So we measured the lift hill length about 97 meters. Again, it's not 100% accurate on Val Raven. And then we measured based off of some footer locations. And we do know where the lift hill ends on this coaster now because there's the largest footer on the property of this construction site. So it looks like, again, this is just an estimate. We do not know where the lift hill starts fully. We just see footers suggesting where it could start. That our lift hill is about 100 meters long, um, about 330 feet. That does 330 feet doesn't mean the height of the coaster. It just means the length of the lift hill itself with a 45 degree angle approximately. So here's the teasers that popped up out of nowhere on Snapchat um, from Canada's Wonderland last night. They were not deleted and they were not posted anywhere else. So it reads Giga Coaster or dot, 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 Giga Coaster Wink Face. Now at first glance, it looks innocent and it looks like it could just be a mistake. But why would there be a wink face if this was just a mistake or just kind of like a giga coaster or hyper coaster, let's say, if, is, if, if that's what they meant to put. I more so see like a starry eyed face or a smiley face. I don't see a wink face. Um, so this is interesting. This kind of with the information we've been discovering slowly would suggest that maybe this dive coaster really is going to be a giga coaster. And that would be insane. Um, they could market it significantly across North America and would get a lot of media attention. So it goes further. So we decided to kind of like tease Wonderland in itself, kind of like see like if it maybe was just a, a simple marketing strategy or like a mistake. And they ended up liking our tweet. So we tweeted at everyone important at Wonderland that we knew of 
and asked teaser or mistake winky face question mark and they liked it and we do know that they've been liking other people's tweets as well asking if it's a teaser so that could suggest that this was a teaser and that would be really exciting could you imagine a giga dive coaster at canada's wonderland i can't see it being a giga wing coaster so these hints and the theming that have been kind of teased would suggest a dive coaster um what do you guys think do you think that this is going to be a giga dive coaster based off of what we're seeing so far based off of the bolts on the track being uh, more than that to val raven um the length of the pullout being longer than val raven and even longer than leviathan do you think this dive coaster is going to be a giga coaster because i am strongly starting to think so i always kind of thought so but i was not fully on board with my own idea as you all know i've been kind of like talking about this giga dive coaster for about a month now and with more information um coming forward and the teasers coming forward and you know us kind of figuring out the layout of the coaster i do strongly believe this coaster is going to be between 250 feet and 300 feet tall or and 300 feet tall um and I could just imagine, like I'm picturing the marketing campaign and the teaser campaign. Like I am so excited for the full blown teaser campaign of this coaster now. I'm fully invested in this coaster, as you know, um, and I just cannot wait to find out more. So I'm gonna touch on um, the construction of this project now. So this, this project started two years in advance and dive coasters typically start six months in advance before being built. Um, so that alone was kind of a hint that this project was slightly bigger. Um, as you know, my construction update updates have slowed down because construction has slowed down as well. They're working on landscaping now instead of the coaster project. And I do predict that they'll start the coaster project again shortly. They just want to make sure the landscaping gets done. The construction team is still there and the vehicles are all there and the equipment is all there, suggesting that they aren't going anywhere anytime soon. This week, they've been working on landscaping. As you can see, they laid down sod, planted more trees, and finished the fencing and added speakers and blah, 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 such and such. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, at first, there was a lot of rumors about a second mountain, a lot of theming. That's why they started early. And I am not seeing any evidence of a second mountain. I'm not seeing any evidence of extensive, extensive theming that would force them to start two months in advance, or sorry, two years in advance, two months. Um, so I'm starting to think that they started early because this is another unique coaster from BNM for Canada's Wonderland. We all know that Canada's Wonderland doesn't get coasters every three years like that to its sister parks like Cedar Point um, and Kings Island. We get coasters every like five to seven years yes we got you know wonder mountains guardian but that was like a dark ride and they just decided to add a bit of a coaster element in there so we know that our park has that extra funds to build these big coasters we got a really awesome hyper coaster that is a bit underrated in the you know north american aspect but a lot of people who have ridden it understand that it is a really like awesome hyper we have Leviathan, which can be underrated as well. It was the first B&M Giga, um, which was super awesome. And our park seems to get these really unique, um, awesome high thrill coasters that aren't necessarily like looping coasters that go like breach limits like that to Cedar Point and Kings Island. They get those like awesome, really high thrill attractions. Whereas Canada's Wenon gets these really highly marketable coasters um, that kind of like have a broader audience. And I really think that's what we're gonna see with this dive coaster, if it ends up being a dive coaster. And that's super exciting. I could only imagine um, <laughs> how marketable this new coaster is going to be. Um, you have an underground, underwater tunnel, underground tunnel, and you have this Canadiana theme potentially going into it. And if you add 300 feet to a dive coaster, we're going to be the first park with two giga coasters correct me if i'm wrong below and we're also going to be the second park to have two coasters over 300 feet tall again correct me if i'm wrong below um but that's awesome so i guess like comment below guys what you think do you think this is going to be smaller than val raven do you think it's going to be the same size as val raven or do you think we are looking at a giga dive coaster 
Um, I'm super interested to think what you, see what you guys think because, um, as you know, I've been trying to follow this coaster project as closely as possible, and I'm presenting the information as I discover it as well. Um, so yeah, comment below what you guys think. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for watching all my videos if you're like a constant subscriber and viewer. Um, and share this video and get everyone excited. All right. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.